Hello, and welcome to another video. Today we have a Sanyo VHR7700. Now, from my last videos about Sanyo, I had the VHR291E. Now, we had a problem with that, that there was no capstan motor rotation. Now, I had to work out whether the fault was the actual motor itself, or whether the fault was in the circuitry. Now, because of the limited um, test equipment I have now, the only way to actually work that one out was to actually get another machine which actually has the same motor in there. Now, you may remember that on the last occasion what we did was we changed the uh, electrolytic cap in there, which is that one, to a regular version and we still didn't have any rotation of the motor. It does try to do something, but obviously it's, it just, you know, judders. You know, just one little twitch, and that's with it. So that's the motor in question. So hopefully, if this one has the same motor, and I've done the research on the service manual, and... It does predict that it, it does say that it has the same motor. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get into this one. We're going to try and get this going today. And if we can get this going, we'll, we'll plug this motor in there and see whether this spins. Now, if this spins, that means that the circuitry on the other one is faulty. If this doesn't spin, and this spins, then we know that the motor is faulty. And if it under, in the unlikely event that this doesn't spin either, there's something wrong with this motor, then we're doomed. Then I think we have to call it a day. So let's see what today brings. Um, I was told that this doesn't power, uh, this does not accept the tape. Now that couldn't mean any reasons. Might be a belt problem, or it could be any number of reasons why it doesn't accept the tape. But anyway, let's just get into the unit. I will be opening it from the bottom as well, just having a look at what's in there. Right. Right. This looks a bit different to the other one, but it's got the same mech in there. Okay, let's lift it up a bit. Right, okay, so... Yeah, it's got the same mech. Well, let's see whether it's got the same motor or not. It's got a um, linear power supply, the same as the other one. No, the other one's got switch mode. The other one's actually got switching power supply. Right, okay, so what we'll do, um, the head seems to be the same as the other one. Well, if worse comes to worse, we'll get parts out of it anyway. Um, the belt seems to be all there. Right, let's open the bottom. Oh, there's something rattling in there. I wonder what it is. More broken parts. Mm. 
what I've discovered with Samuels is that they don't really, they're not really designed to be serviced. I mean, parts are just unheard of with Sanyo. I mean, that's probably why I haven't had many of them. People don't buy Sanyos. People don't, I mean, to be honest with you, Ah, okay, so it's a good thing I actually opened it because we have got, we've got a bad belt. We've got a broken, we've got a broken belt in this one. Motor's the same though. don't remember this on the other one it might have been faulty, I don't know, uh, it might have been missing, I don't know okay okay so the belt is snapped well as I say all I want to know is whether this motor actually works or not Okay, so what we'll do is we'll apply power. Um, I don't really have a spare belt to put in there. Um, well, I just want to put something very um, temporary. But anyway, all I wanted to see is whether we have any joy with the... Um, Um, okay, let's power it up and let's see what it does. Okay, so we've got power. Okay. Okay. I was told it doesn't eject, it doesn't accept the tape. Right, okay. Oh! Right, so we've got a bit of good news here. We have got a bit of good news. We have got capstan motor rotation. Right, let's have a look at this. I hope you can see it. Let me just uh, move the uh, a little piece here. I don't know where it's come from, but right. Okay, there's the fast forward. That one. Here we are. Right. So we have had. We've got caps and motor rotation, which is a good sign. So that means we can actually plug, we can actually plug that motor into here and that will tell us whether we have a faulty motor or we have a faulty circuit. So, um, what about the rewind? Can you see that? That one there, that's the capstan motor. Right, okay. Oh. Blimey. Right, so what I want to do is I actually want to put a, a belt on here. Ah, right, okay, so that's a bit of good news. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to unplug it, okay? Turn it upside down like this. Okay. Um. Okay. 
So what we need to do is we need to, um, I don't know how long this wire is going to be, but um, Okay, so let's just um, <clears throat> Oh Jesus, why? Annoy me Right, okay, so I don't know how long this wire is, but I think if we put this one on here like that, that's enough. Um, I think like this. Okay, let's power it up now. I hope you can see it. What I'll do is I'll zoom it in. So you can see that. Right, so that's the capstan motor. If that spins, then we know the fault's in the circuitry. If this doesn't spin, then we know the fault's in the uh, in the motor. So here we are. Let's have a go. Right. Right, so what did you see there, guys? I think it needs to have a belt change. Well, I can tell you this, that the motor is not spinning. Okay, so we have a faulty motor. That's the problem.
Okay, so I think we've got enough information now. So, Okay, so now I have to decide which one I want to keep. Okay, now... Um, this one's got a different... Okay. So we know that our fault is the motor. Okay, now, which one do I want to keep? Do I want to keep this one or do you want to keep the other one? This one's a bit broken here. Okay, so we'll keep the other one. Right, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this caps and motor out. So let me pan it back a bit. We're going to keep, we're going to take this caps and motor out from here. And we will put it in the other one. And hopefully we should get a picture. So what I'm thinking it's probably the, the, the type of capstan motor that they've used. Oh, this is loose. It might be that it, that it's the it's the batch of capstan motor that they've used, because I've only found that problem on that model so far. I have never found it on anything else. I haven't found it on any other recorder, on any any other recorder. So what we'll do, we'll take the capstan motor out from here, and. Um, Right, okay, so I think what I did with the other one is I took this spring off from here. I mean, initially I wanted to use this for parts anyway. Okay. So now this um, capstan motor should come off. There we are. There's our motor. Okay, so that's our replacement. So we'll keep this here, away from anything. And what we'll do is we'll put a few screws on here and we'll keep these and there are a few things that are broken on here anyway, but uh, I want to take this little bracket off because I didn't see that in the other one. I didn't see this bracket on the other one, but I want to take this off from here.
I did not see this in the other one. So maybe it's not required on that. But um, right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this, put a few screws on there. Yeah, a few pieces have come out from it. So. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be the batch of motor that they've used. Right, there we are. So that's our parts machine. So this is going to be used specifically for parts. I mean, I'll break it up and take what I need out of it. But um, it wasn't packed very well, as you can see. Cracks on there. Okay, so guys, let me go and bring the other one. And uh, what we'll do, we'll do it in a separate video. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.